align with the dimension line offset from the origin as 3 and go to primary units so linear dimension you make it as 0 and say ok and close it now we will go for dim horizontal to take center of this and to intersection of this and you take this as 25 similarly dim vertical take center of this and take intersection point of this so this dimension is for 15 then again take center of this to intersection of this and take this dimension as 35 then dim angle angular you select between these two and this angle will be 45 degrees then go to D text and mark this point as X and this as Y and this as X1 and this as Y1 and now we go for leader go to LEA take nearest point on this put the ortho mode on and drag this and annotation by default option by default enter and go to none and go to explore select this and remove it similarly you just copy this take this nearest point on this to perpendicular to this so we have this similarly leader take nearest point on this and drag this annotation option node explore explore this and erase this so this is how you will be able to mark the dimensions and that is how you will be able to get the drawing and now the leader lea take center leader take center of this select this put the ortho mode off you just click on this and you put the ortho mode on click it on this and annotation enter options enter none is the option so then go to D text select this and write it as the right side view see right side view and then so you move this x1 y1 put the auto off and place it wherever you want similarly y1 somewhere here and the x will be on this now you just click on x and y and go to change go to layer and make that layer as x y and say close so these two will going to have the layer thickness of 0.13 and these projector lines will be of 0.05 so this is how you will be able to solve this problem on uh, projections of points in the third quadrant by using autocad software